could be us. So back to what I was saying. It could be us. Before we get into the video, there is a giveaway on this channel for $20 PSN, $20 Xbox, and $20 PlayStation. And the way to enter is you have to be subscribed to me down below. And I'll be choosing three winners once I hit 1,000 subs. Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Defendo, and yes, it's me. I haven't posted lately, and you are probably wondering why. It's just because of school. I'm sorry guys, I have to worry about school before I worry about YouTube, so... I have to deal with that, so... I haven't posted a video in over a month, which is crazy. I'm sorry about that, guys. So, what I'm coming at you with today is a $500 budget PC build that easily runs 1080p graphics at 60 frames per second at pretty much any game. So, starting off with the CPU, we got a Core i3 6100 um, Skyline Edition, so you can overclock this from like 3.7 gigahertz all the way to like 4.2, I'm pretty sure. So that's easy overclockable and it also works easily since it's two cores definitely not for any type of gaming now I the motherboard I chose was the gigabyte GA X 150 plus with Wi-Fi this is a cheap motherboard coming at around $65 and it is socket LGA 1151 so it supports any six core CPU Intel which so it leaves you with an upgrade ability so later down the road if you want to upgrade from an i3 to maybe an i5 or maybe even an i7 you can do that as long as it supports the same socket which all six generations are LGA 1151s so next we have the graphics card for the graphics card we chose the Sapphire RX 470 4GB DDR5 and this is going to be plenty enough for 1080p 60 frames per second any type of game unless you're playing like higher demanding games like Battlefield 1 and maybe even Witcher Hunt 3 or maybe even Tomb Raider those games you'll probably get a solid 45 to 50 but if you bump it down to medium settings, you'll definitely be able to achieve 60 frames per second. And this graphics card is only coming in at $120. And it also is integrated graphics, so that's even a plus. And for $120, this is probably the best graphics card you'll get for your money. So after that, we have the RAM. Now the RAM is pretty obvious. You want to go with 8 gigabytes. It's probably going to be the cheapest option, but also the most effective because most games still run 8 gigabytes. A lot of them are starting to demand 16 gigabytes, like GTA 5, and sometimes Battlefield 1. If you have on high graphics, may need a little bit more than that, but 8 gigabytes is fine for whatever you're doing. So we chose the Avlixer Core Series 8 gigabyte RAM, and that's only $55 and it's very cheap and 2400 megahertz is definitely enough for your speed and that's actually pretty fast for $55 of 8 gigabytes and our motherboard has two slots so if you ever wanted to upgrade to 16 just buy another one you have to be the exact same model and you can just put another one in this also lights up and red LED so if you're going for that red LED theme in your computer this perfectly matches it and really cool next we have the hard drive now for the hard drive I wasn't sure to go with a 500 gigabyte and a or a one terabyte hard drive and honestly there's a five dollar difference and for five dollars I chose the Western Digital 1 terabyte hard drive 72k and f I found this on eBay for 30 bucks uh, It has been five star rated and I bought one as you can see in the top left corner and although it is manufactured refurbished um, which means it has been used sent back to the factory factory and It has met all the requirements and it has been and it has been sent back to be sold so it is in perfect condition. I actually bought the same one as you saw earlier, and it works 
absolutely great for me. And honestly, down the road, if you want an SSD, the case that we are going to be getting supports SSDs. So if you just want to get 120 gigabyte for your Windows, that is easily accomplishable with this case and later on down the road. Speaking about the case, the case we chose for this build was the Benefix Mid Tower case, and it comes at out at $38, and it is a crazy, incredible case. Honestly, you might think $38, oh, you're not getting that good of a case. Well, this case has a side panel of nice, clear glass. Uh, sorry about that, plastic. And it also has room for five fans, which later down the road, you'll see what I'll be doing with that. And it also has support, so it's hiding the power supply, and it has room for SSD, which later down the road, you can upgrade to. And overall, it's a very good case, and honestly, it's a nice, simple look, and it's kind of like the NZXT S340, and I like it a lot, and it's just really good for any type of cooling and whatever you want to build in it. Now, this final thing for the $500 build is a power supply, and for the power supply, I went with a 500 watt EVGA. It's pretty much the most average power supply you can get. 500 watts, definitely enough for this build, and also leaves you room with availability in the upgrade system if you ever wanted to upgrade for like Core i5, Core i7, it has enough power for that or even upgrade the GPU. So that's enough power and coming in at 40 bucks, definitely enough. So that's pretty simple. And next, that was pretty much it. We have all the parts needed. So we had not $495 spent, which is under the budget. I'm like we still have $5, so if you guys wanted to see some, I actually got a LED red fan for this case. If you wanted a LED or red theme to it, this also comes in blue, green, and white. So if you wanted to add some spice to your theme for $500 for this nice PC, get a $5 fan from eBay, only coming out at $5, and it's definitely going to help you. So overall, this PC will easily be able to run 1080p 60 frames per second games with this nice Sapphire graphics card and the Core i3. And later down the road, if you ever wanted to upgrade both of those with the power supply, you can easily do that. So overall, this for $500, this is an excellent PC build. So if you have $500, maybe sitting around somewhere, maybe for Christmas, maybe for your birthday, ask for these types of parts and you'll be getting the best bang for your buck. And honestly, it's probably the coolest as well. You can get a nice black and red theme, or maybe even a black and white theme with this case. And also you can go with a white case, so you can get like a white and black theme. So if you guys like the video, make sure to smack that like button. And comment down below if you want me to do more of these, and what type of budget I should do, or maybe even an extreme build. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.